Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets, and I'm breaking down to bite-sized pieces. So today, we've got some great news on top of what is going on in the market, where we're seeing uh, quite a bit of a rally. But there's something more to take a look at, which is look behind the scenes. And this is a perfect example. Grayscale added $1 billion in 24 hours uh, with Litecoin, Stellar Lumens, and Zcash. And it's not just those crypto assets, but it's a couple more that they added, which I believe are the real story and what to look forward into as far as making massive gains. So we'll take a look at that. But first, let's take a look at what I was talking about as far as the market itself. So real quick, as we can see here, I trade the chain. This is all about sentiment analysis, but it gives us a lot of great information, such as a total market cap of $2.18 trillion. Really, it's about $2.2 trillion. But just think about that for a second. Let that sink in for a second. Uh, we just added $200 billion uh, worth of capital into our market uh, in a very short amount of time, roughly about 10 days. So take a look at that of what's going on as, comp as opposed to what happened just about a year ago in March. Our market cap was roughly $200 billion. We just added that in 10 days. And that's what's amazing. That is the amazing part about the crypto digital asset market. Uh, things move very fast and they are you know, really uh, huge gainers. But the real thing that I wanna talk to you about is this next little box right here. It says average daily sentiment. And let me blow that up real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Average daily sentiment, the thing that makes Trade the Chain so great is that you can use technical analysis, fundamental analysis, but you can also use sentiment analysis. I think that's what moves the market the most, which are stories and what people are talking about and the different press releases that are out there. And what it does is it integrates into Twitter. It's one of five cryptocurrency companies that has a direct API. It also crawls the entire internet for stories. It also crawls all the different exchanges, blog posts and, and medium posts, and everything else to give us a, just a, a massive amount of data and say, this is the sentiment today. And as you can see, it's bearish. That's kind of odd, isn't it? Because we are at an all-time high, pretty much in everything, everything that, that we have. And that's the telling thing. But you have to understand, this is a great day. These are the great days that I talk about because you don't have to do anything. You just, all that hard work that you did uh, for months, years, who knows, over five years, six years for some of you, even 10 years uh, for some people, uh, you don't have to do anything today. This is just a nice big pump day. You just sit back and just look at your portfolio blossom. And uh, these are the days that we absolutely live for, right? But here's the thing. I always talk to you when things are in the dumps and I say, hey, you know what? If you're new to the space, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it because uh, a 10 to 20% dip is nothing in crypto land. In, in the traditional market, that's like, uh, you know, jump out of the, the window craziness, right? But a 20% dip, we call that a Tuesday. We don't care. And that's just how it goes. But the inverse is true. So when we see these big pump days where we've got uh, Bitcoin going up by almost, you know, 8% or 10% or something like that, Ethereum going up and everything else rocketing up, I just sit back and go, well, my portfolio is looking nice, but uh, I will tell you this, what goes up will come down. And we, the people that have been around for a while, this daily sentiment reflects that because we know that even though it's going to go up 10, 20%, it's just a Tuesday in crypto land. So uh, enjoy the day. You've earned it, all the different things you've done. So let's take a look at what's going on in the actual market. We kind of delve in uh, what I was just talking about. So let's click on coins. Let me blow this up since I'm talking about here. So Bitcoin is uh, 60, almost 63,000. So everybody in existence who has ever had a Bitcoin is now in profit. Congratulations, you did it. All you had to do was just buy some Bitcoin. Uh, Ethereum, pretty much the same way. Uh, yeah, because we're up 7% in 24 hours and we're at almost 2,300 bucks. Binance coin dropped a little bit, but what a fantastic run. XRP is up massively. And uh, for a price of $1.83, I mean, it's come creeping up on one of its all-time highs around $3.40, I think it was, $3.40. And there's been some rumors circling around, and I cannot uh, establish them, but this is what Mike Novogratz talked about, actually. He says, when the price of XRP starts to really rise quickly, a, a settlement with the SEC may be in the works. And that has not been proven. Nothing's really been said. But Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson have already filed a motion to dismiss this lawsuit case. So if this actually does get dismissed, uh, this uh, lawsuit against the or the SEC is brought forth to Ripple Labs, 
then you will see XRP uh, double or triple in price. And that's just the truth. Uh, Tether's Tether, nobody cares. Cardano's up. Everything's up. So let's not really beat a dead horse, shall we? But I want you to notice one thing. See over here where it says hourly sentiment. We got one hour chain, 24 hours, seven days, and hourly sentiment. What do you see? Bearish, 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 neutral, 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 bearish, bearish, neutral, neutral, blah, 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 right? That's the sentiment right now. And I don't want to be a wet blanket, but uh, that's kind of what I am <laughs> for the most parts. And I will just tell you this. Again, what goes up must come down. When we're taking a look at these days, enjoy the days. I'm not saying don't enjoy them. Enjoy them. You did it. You do all this hard work. But just know that nothing lasts forever. And uh, these are just small snippets in history of what's going to happen with the cryptocurrency market. Will it go up? I believe so. I believe uh, Bitcoin uh, will go, go up to 150,000. That's a very conservative number. Some people say 300. Some people say a million if you're the Winklevoss twins. I don't know. But uh, these are great days. So just enjoy the days when you get them. And that's all I got to say. Also, you'll notice that uh, I'm in my house today because uh, everybody is uh, in my pool room right now uh, redoing some things, things like over a decade old falling apart. I don't want it to crash on me. So I thought I'd fix it up before, before that happens. All right. So let's just jump into today's uh, top story. Oh, real quick. Let me click on this projected range. This is what's great about Trade the Chain. You can do some trading. But really, today is really you can just throw a dart. You know what? Just throw a dart at the wall and uh, whatever coin it's close to, just buy that because it's everything's going to go up. I don't really care. Yeah, I mean, we don't need to trade the chain for this one, you know? All right, we'll just go for it. So <laughs> this is interesting. The story is about Grayscale adding a billion dollars, but it's really about the whole encompassing thing. And you want to take a look at what is the next big thing. Now we can talk about uh, very safe cryptocurrencies. I believe Bitcoin, Ethereum, probably the safest out there. Everybody's talking about them. Everybody wants to get their hands on them. So, you know, why not? But uh, Grayscale, which has been around for, I think since 2011, somewhere around there, 2012, somewhere around there, 2010, 2012, they were the ones with the foresight to say, Bitcoin's going to be huge. We're going to buy a ton of Bitcoin. We're going to establish a trust. And in our charter, we're never going to sell it. We're going to hold on to it forever. That takes tremendous foresight to really go, this is the thing. So good for them. Um, so if you look at that and go, well, if they had that foresight back then, maybe they have some foresight now to what could potentially be the next big thing. And that's why I bring this to your attention. So what's going on here? Well, in a tweet post on April 9th, Grayscale revealed that its total assets under management stands at $46.1 billion. Not too bad. Good for them. Yeah, it's okay. So in reality, a day earlier, they announced in a separate tweet that it held a total of $45.1 billion. So in one day, 24 hours, it was uh, a $1 billion increase, which for, for this group, for Grayscale, it's not a big deal. But I did want to bring to your attention this nice little, little graph or this little uh, chart right here. And it talks about what they have as far as their trust. For the longest time, 97% of what Grayscale trust was, was Bitcoin Ethereum. But they've really branched out because they always have to, you know, grow. In business, if you're not growing, you're dying. And I think I, I applaud Grayscale for really looking to possibly the next big thing. And this is where I bring it to your attention so you can do your own research and take a look at maybe this is something I should really get into. Now, if you want to get even more risky, get outside the top 100. Heck, get outside the top 300. Who knows? There could be some gems down there. That's not my thing, but uh, there's a lot of gains to be had. But remember, the more risk, uh, the more reward. Unfortunately, uh, there's also a big downside of that. But I think this is a pretty safe bet. So take a look at this. Let me blow this up so you can see it. So you've got the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. These are the holdings, asset or management. Pretty good, right? And then look at uh, basic attention token. Not too much, 4.8 million, but they bought a ton of it in just a one day chain. 20% just scooped it all up. You got Bitcoin Cash, 187 million, Chainlink. Decentraland, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Filecoin, Horizon, Litecoin, Livepeer, which is the uh, uh, streaming service, which I think is in conjunction with uh, Theta, Sterile Lumen, Zcash. All these different things could be a pretty big play. So just take a look at what's going on in the background. And these guys uh, could be a lightning rod to what could be actually uh, the next big thing. So you're sitting on this, this article. Uh, news of great scale growth, 
Bitcoin, Ethereum, 97%. We talked about that. So again, over the past 30 days, they bought 36,000 Litecoins, 5 point, almost 5.6 Daryl Lumens, 23 million Zcash, and about almost 1,000 Bitcoin Cash. And I've always talked about this on the, on the channel. I know people aren't a big fan in this channel of Bitcoin Cash, but you really can't bet against it, especially if it's on PayPal. I think whatever's on PayPal is the next big thing. I mean, you got Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash. Why not? Ethereum and Litecoin. There's a reason why they picked those four. Do you think they just threw a dart at the board and go, let's just pick those four? They see something and they have billions of dollars to invest into data and research. So it might be uh, something to take a look into. And of course, now you've also got uh, Grayscale. So who knows? Anyhow, uh, last month, Grayscale revealed that it plans to offer clients exposure to five crypto assets, uh, which are uh, BAT, basic exchange token, Link, Mana, Filecoin, and like I said, uh, Life here. So if you are looking uh, to get into something, those might be another option for you. Again, do your own research. But in this market right now, really, you really can't go wrong at this point. What I'm going to do later today is I'm going to do a quick video, uh, which has been asked me a lot of, which is, you know, if what you would do if you only had $25 to invest into something uh, over time, of course. And I want to just kind of break it down as to why, because people ask me, like, am I too late? Am I too late? I'm going to explain to you why you are not too late and when really it becomes too late. And I'm going to break it down the simplest way I possibly can. We're going to look at dollar cost average, value cost average, and going all in. So I'll put that out later today. But again, uh, for uh, this day's market, uh, just be thankful that uh, you're, you're here. You're way ahead of most people. And uh, I think we just got started. So anyhow, that's it for today. So if you like that video, go ahead and, and uh, give it a thumbs up if you found value that helps this channel like tremendously. Also consider subscribing. A lot of things we talk about are time sensitive. And that's it. So uh, I will see you on the next one.